Hi and welcome, in this video we're going to be going over how to create a Naruto Shadow Clone in Unreal Engine. So the first thing we're going to do is duplicate our third person character. So we click on him, Control C and Control V and that will just duplicate him. And then I'm going to rename him Shadow Clone so we just know what he's called. So Shadow Clone, that will just save and if we go and open it up. so. First thing I'm going to do is create a custom event. So if you search for add custom event, and I'm going to call this destroy, because after a couple of seconds, we're going to want the shadow clone to destroy itself and disappear. So off of this, drag destroy actor. So when this is activated, it will destroy the actor. And off this, we're just going to add a delay. So when this is activated, after 10 seconds, I'm going to make it 10 seconds, the actor will destroy himself. So as the target, we'll have him reference himself. Okay, and just compile to save that. And to activate this, I'm gonna right click and go event begin play. So as soon as it's in the world and it started, we're going to get called the destroy, as these shadow clones are only going to survive for 10 seconds. So we'll make it like that. We're gonna have these shadow clones move around randomly. So off of this, we're gonna drag AI move to. So AI move to, and the pawn is going to get a reference to the character itself. And I'm just going to move this around as it's a bit, I'm going to need this space. And in the destination, we're just going to have the shadow clone roam around randomly. So we're going to get random point in navigable radius. And I'm going to make this radius quite big. So I'm going to make it 1,500. And as it's origin, we're just going to get the actor's location, wherever it is in the world, then it'll start to roam around randomly. Okay, and just plug that in. So off of this, to have it continuously moving randomly, I'm going to have a delay. Once it's moved to its location, we're going to have a delay of one second. Second, and then once it's done that, we're going to just plug this back in. So every one second, it'll be moving to a new point within the radius of 1,500. So if we just compile and save that, and if we drag him into the world just to test this is all working, we also need to make sure that we have the nav mesh bounds volume in so that AI can move around. So you'll just stretch this out. And if again, if you want to see it, just press the P key so you can see the radius that the AI can move in and P to turn it off. So if we click play, we can see that our AI is now starting to move around in his location randomly, which is what we want. Now we're going to make him spawn from our character. So if we go into the viewport and we're going to search for the add component, we're going to get create a scene. So scene, and you're just going to place these where you want your actors to spawn. So I'm going to make him be able to spawn two at a time. So I'm just going to drag this down and position it, and Control C and Control V, and just duplicate it and compile. So now in the event graph. I'm going to make it, when we press the 1 key, it's going to start spawning our shadow clones. <coughs> so, you're going to want to find spawn actor from class, and select the class, you're going to pick the shadow clone that we just created. <coughs> and in the scene, that's what we're going to use, we're going to get the world transform, and that's going to be the spawn transform for our actor. So just plug that in, and if we duplicate this, as we're going to be spawning, two actors at a time and we'll just replace the scene with our scene one and we'll just plug that in on the collision handling override we will put this at try to adjust location don't spawn if it's still colliding as we don't want this to just spawn if it like can't like between a mesh or something and if we click compile and play when we press the one key it'll start to spawn our shadow clones but they're not moving so there's one more thing we need to do to make sure that our when they're spawned our AIs can move. So if we go into our shadow clone, and if you click on the shadow clone itself, if we scroll down to pawn auto possess AI, we want it placed in world or spawn. So this will just mean that when it's placed or spawned like we're doing it, it will activate its script as before it wasn't. So if we press the one key, our AI will start to move around randomly. And that is all for today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you like, hit like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.